Hey guys, it's the doc. We are wrapping up another amazing week um, and we're starting a new month, the month of July. My favorite month, you know, it's the, it's gonna be my 46th trip around the sun in a couple of days and uh, you know, it's, it's a very special time of year for me. Um, so just thinking about all these thoughts and these are my thoughts of the week. So, you know, one of the things that I've been thinking about, especially as we start a new month and I'm starting a new year, um, is how to maintain happiness and positivity, good energy, you know, all that stuff. And I'm gonna share a story with you guys. So during COVID, maybe a little bit before COVID, we started instituting a policy in my office where we required 24 hours for cancellation of appointments. And this became particularly important during COVID uh, because, you know, we had very limited patient care hours and we had to space our patients out because of social distancing, et cetera. So if there, were, if there was a last minute cancellation, it really, you know, there was a, a, the next time we would see patients would be a week later and then patients would have to wait. We couldn't pull people off the waiting list that needed to get seen. So we really needed to streamline our operations and make our time in the office as efficient and effective as possible so that we would treat as many patients as possible safely, socially distanced, et cetera. Um, but, you know, now that we're coming out of COVID, uh, we've we maintained that policy because, you know, as it stands now, you know, a lot of folks weren't seen last year. They need to come in for their skin checks. They need to come in for their treatment. So, you know, we're getting really, really busy. And, you know, my next appointment could be four or five weeks from now. And, you know, we keep a waiting list for patients that want to get in sooner. So it's really not fair when there's a last minute cancellation, you know, the five minutes before an appointment or 10 minutes before an appointment, because then we don't have time to access our waiting list to get a patient to get in there to fill that void in the schedule. So a patient this week um, called us about five minutes before his appointment and said, you know, I'm not coming in. And, you know, we, my staff said, well, you know, as you know, our policy is, you know, we require 24 hours notice. Otherwise, there's a cancellation fee. So the guy basically lost his mind and, you know, was very incredibly rude and hostile towards my staff. My staff did their job. They stayed cool, calm and collected. Um, and, you know, we, we require a credit card on file when someone makes an appointment for this reason. Just like if I make a reservation at a restaurant, you know, if I'm going to Miami with my family, I make a reservation, I have to leave a credit card to maintain that reservation and I'm charged if I don't give them 24 hours notice or you know, whatever the notice may be to cancel my reservation. You know, we, we do the same thing for our appointment times. And, um, you know, so we charge his card. The next day he uh, wrote you know, kind of an angry email. And, you know, I actually audit all of the emails that come through my office. I see them and I responded to the patient. I said, you know what? I get, you know, he thought he made the appointment in my New York City office, but he was really for the Long Island office. He explained the whole situation. And I said, you know what? No problem, we're gonna refund the late cancellation charge. But just so you know, going forward, this is our policy. And um, I guess he must not have seen that email. And you know, we actually refunded his charge. I guess he did not see the refunded charge. And last night he wrote an incredibly, you know, scathing email, threatening email. It was, uh, you know, just full of hostility. And I was thinking about it and I said, you know what, do I really want to take care of a patient with this kind of hostility, with this kind of attitude? You know, it's, you know, we're providing a service. We do the best we can for our patients. We're very reasonable. We go above and beyond, I would think most doctors do. Uh, I'm very attentive to all of my patients' needs. I'm very accessible. And I said, you know what, forget it, I'm done. And I discharged the patient from my practice. And, you know, it really, as we're starting this new month, as I'm starting a new year in life, I realize that we control our happiness. We are in full control of the energy that surrounds us. And if there's negative energy, hostility, anger, we can eliminate that from our lives. It's very, very simple to do, you know, and this was, I'm happier today because I don't have to deal with this hostility in my life, this negative energy in my life. This, you know, sort of throws my happy equilibrium off and um, you know I think it's I learned a lesson myself um, I reinforce a very important lesson that I knew and I think it's something that we can all you know take away you know it's really we are steering the ship of happiness in our lives and you know it's really important for us to audit who affects us and you know sometimes cutting out the negativity cutting out the hostility and surrounding yourself with people who you like people who um, inspire you people who make you happy that really makes a huge difference. So with that, um, I hope you guys all have a restful weekend and are just ready to crush this week ahead. Uh, you know, have a wonderful July 4th, a wonderful holiday weekend. Let's get it.